Okay, so it's time to tackle our final path operation, which is for updating posts. This is one's going to be fairly similar to, you know, deleting a post uh, or even getting a post by a single ID. So first of all, comment out the previous Postgres code. And because we're going to be interacting with the database, let's make sure we copy the dependency in this case. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to say db.query. I'm going to query models.post. And then we're going to filter on the same thing. We'll say filter models.post. Dot ID, and if that equals to the ID that we're passing here, then we're going to find the specific post we're interested in. So I'll say, I'm going to save this as post underscore query. So right now, uh, we're not actually running the query, we're just saving the query because I haven't run dot first or dot all. And we'll say the actual post equals post underscore query dot first. So this is going to grab the post if it exists. Uh, if it doesn't exist, so we'll say if post does not equal none, or if post equals equals none, then we're going to send a 404. However, if it does exist, then we'll, we'll grab the query again. We'll say post query dot update. So we can chain an update method. So we're basically taking this query right here, and then we're chaining the update method, which would be the equivalent of doing an update right here. So we'll say dot update. And then what we want to do is we want to pass in the the fields that we want to update as a dictionary. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hard code the values and just to show you what that looks like. So we'll say title is going to be set to, hey, this is my updated title. And then the next one's going to be the content. We can update that to be whatever we want. And I'll say, um, this is my updated content. Then we're going to do that same synchronized session equals false as the second uh, property into the updated method. Go to synchronize session equals false. And that should handle the update and then we would just want to do a db.commit. And right now this updated post doesn't exist anymore so we're just going to return uh, successful or something. Doesn't matter, we're going to change this a little bit later on. All right, so let's go to our uh, update. Where is our update post? It doesn't really matter what data we pass in because we're hard coding the values. And so I'm gonna update a, the post with an ID of one if it still exists and it looks like it does. So you can see right now the title is new post. So we'll update this and that's successful. And then let's go to back to Postgres, do a query. And we can see that, hey, look, it got updated. Hey, this is my updated title and the content this is my updated content. So that's all we have to do. We just have to pass in a Python dictionary with the updated fields. Uh, and so instead of passing in a uh, Python dictionary, right, we can pass in our post schema, right? So that's going to have all of the updated fields and we can just say post.dict. That's going to return a Python dictionary. So that should be exactly what we're looking for. And then finally, when it comes to returning data, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run another query. So we're going to say post underscore query. So we're going to grab this exact query object right here. And then we're just going to get the updated post. So we just grab the first one with that specific ID. Uh, and then it should return that. So hopefully you guys understand. Uh, and I'm just going to quickly recap exactly what we did. We set up a query to find uh, the post with a specific ID. Then we're going to actually grab that specific post. So we run that query by grabbing dot first. If it doesn't exist, we're going to run a 404. Um, but if it does exist, then we can chain the update method to this same query object so that we can update it. And we pass in the fields that we want to update. We'll commit it to our database. Then after all of that's done, we want to make sure we get the updated post and send it back to the user. So we do post underscore query dot first. So let's test this out. And I'm going to put in values because these values now matter. And I'll say, um, my name is Sanjeev. Python is fun. So let's try this. What happened here? Okay, I forgot to save. Hit send. We get an error. And I realize we have a little bit of an issue. So uh, this, the schema that we get, uh, where we extract all of the body fields, 
is named post, but then we also save this as post as well. And so this leads to uh, issues because they're both named the same thing. And so I'm trying to I'm trying to convert this to a dictionary, which only works on the Pydantic model. It does not work on our SQL Alchemy model. So we're going to have to rename these. I'm going to name this updated underscore post. And then here, this is going to be updated underscore post. Now let's try that again. Seems to work. Let's check our database though. And we can see that it was successfully updated. And then let's try to update something that doesn't exist. And we get a 404. Perfect.